Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am, coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe. January is officially behind us it would seem, so what better time than to recap all of the games that came out for that month. Look back on it, get a bit teary eyed if you will, because it was a pretty solid month to start out the year with. The first game that we're gonna start out with, eh? See how I segued into that? Is Linka Picks Deluxe. You know, everybody's favorite game. Linka Picks is a clue linking puzzle where every grid has a picture hidden inside. The aim is to reveal the picture by painting paths to link the clues. Connect pairs of clues which have the same color and number. The numbers show the length of the line which will connect them. Linka Picks can be solved using logic and deduction. You don't have to guess. Unless of course your name begins with, uh, no, I'm not even gonna go there. And with 120 unique puzzles that are in full color, may I add, it's fun for the whole family. Or somebody taking a trip on the bus. See, I can talk about this game without complaining. Sometimes. Now let's move away from puzzle-based games to a different kind of puzzle-based game. Only it's more spooky. Oh look, it's my future tax evasion scam. I mean, uh, without escape. Huh, not sure I mixed up those two. One chilly night, you go home and notice that nobody's there. Your parents had told you that they would be visiting your grandparents for the weekend, so you give their absence no mind and go to bed. At 2.45 a.m., however, your sleep is suddenly interrupted by strange noises. A burglar, perhaps? You decide to investigate, only to plunge into a nightmarish web of stone, flesh, and flame. Still to this day, that part of the description gives me all kinds of confusion. Will you get out alive? Reconnect with the past through the classic point and click exploration. Overcome puzzles that will test your wits. Play your way with gamepad. Immerse yourself in your home's oppressive atmosphere with atmospheric soundtrack. And an atmospheric soundtrack. Discover multiple ending secrets and easter eggs. Unlock several trophies. Oh, I know that that positively got a lot of trophy hunters blood out there tingling. Not me though, I have a patch for that sort of thing. It um, goes on my left arm. Oh, you thought we were leaving survival horror now, didn't ya? Nah, despite that it was the month of January, we're pretending like it's October for some weird reason. This is Redbow. If you were given another chance, would you take it? Or leave it in the hands of a little girl? <laughs> Isn't this the obvious question? Play as Ro, a young girl stuck in a bizarre nightmare of dark and eerie creatures. This short game will have you entangled with a story-driven narrative and puzzles as you help Ra find an answer to her place in this strange world. Redbow is designed to play with the feel of a modern top-down Game Boy game with roughly one to two hours of gameplay with trophies. Gotta love how games have to emphasize that fact. The game uses an RPG top-down style which consists of finding items, secrets, and and solving puzzles to progress the story. The game progresses in sequences which are filled with secrets and easter eggs. Find multiple endings by following clues and your gut. Yeah, description was pretty straightforward. No bad puns this time. Now we can continue with the bad puns. Maybe. Possibly. Allegedly. We'll see. Dragon Fantasy The Volumes of Wisteria is what we're talking about now. Experience an all new old adventure. Fight your way through hordes of strange, silly, and scary monsters. Explore the caves, castles, and dungeons of an ancient evil. Meet warriors, princes, pirates, zombies, and crazy old woodsmen in a huge world of epic retro adventure. Game look a tad familiar to you, eh? It is true, this game was originally released quite some time back ago. This, however, is an updated version of the original game, which they decided not to do in the form of a patch, except for those who already own the game, but instead do a re-release of it. So if you haven't had a chance to experience it yet, you're gonna get the best version of the game with this one. And of course, I am in no way, shape, or form jealous at the fact that you're going to be getting the best version. All right. Brace yourselves, because now we're gonna talk about porn, I mean a, a nice wholesome game that has absolutely nothing to do with porn. Woo, covered that one up pretty well now, didn't I? This is IX She Tell, I think, maybe, possibly, allegedly, 
we'll see. And because I only have terrible Google translated pages to go off of with this title, I'll just say that it's about a student council that wants to fall in love. Whether or not you play as the dude who's in the student council or are looking to get it on with student council members, I can't really tell because of the translation. But it's a romance visual novel. I don't think this comes as a surprise to anybody. Japan only, and it released in January. That's why you're here, because we're talking about January. This is what happens when you can't read Japanese. Moving right along here to a game that has absolutely nothing to do with Japanese, or I guess it could, depending on how you look at it. This is Milo's Quest. Anybody think it's kind of weird that this dog has the same name as one of the characters from Milo and Otis? Oh yeah, I'm old enough to remember that movie, but this has nothing to do with that movie, so carrying on. The young pup Milo is enjoying his time in the park and sees a delicious bone to chew on. This bone is cursed and sets free the evil King Old Skull. Well, that was random. Honestly, the most bizarre twist I've ever seen in a video game. Now it's up to Milo to go on an adventure to stop the curse. Choose from three difficulty levels for your adventure. You can even change up the kind of experience you want by focusing only on puzzles or combat. Pick up items and useful tools on your quest to take on ghosts and solve block puzzles to stop the evil King Old Skull. Looking on it now, this game actually has absolutely nothing to do with Milo and Otis, except for the name. And yeah, I'm done dating myself right now. Let's move on. Oh joy, this game again, like we haven't talked about it enough for this month. Now it's even creeping into February. Things are getting ugly. Alright, I'm gonna make this really quick because yeah, I've talked about this game so many times during the month of January, and I think even before then. This is Foxy Land 2. In this version, the game you play as both Foxy and his main squeeze, and you go on a pixelated platforming game to save your kids. That's pretty much the gist of it. Did that quick summary help? Spoiler alert? Nope, it didn't make the pain go away. And yeah, that's everything. All of the games released for the month of January 2020. Which ones were your favorite? Which games did you pick up? As always, let me know all of that info in the comment section discussion links below. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. The following video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous people who help make this content possible, including David Ray, Sculpture Tugel TCG, Rodrigo Vera, Larry Anderson, Adam Theory, Aaron Swanson, Mario Cruz, Jale, Heston Joseph, Pierce Sterner, Erock, Kevin Enright, Buzz Sayin, Richard Cruz, Jared Hado, JR, Kyle Brooks, Joshua Williams, Dennis R. Huggins Jr., Saul Ramirez, Ruben Gutierrez, Adam Sondi, Phantom XRS, BMF, Hero Acer, Neo Arashi, Reiko Star, Matt Fox, and Jace Ballerin. If you yourself would be interested in supporting the channel, check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do so down there. Oh, and may we never speak of the Foxyland series ever again on this channel, which will probably only last like a couple of days. Thank you.